Hey YouTube, Vinyl Community, Wes here checking in with a new video. Today we're talking about free music, how to get free music. Just thought this would be a, po a topic to sort of put in your put in your mind and think about, uh, you know, as we all do go into thrift stores from time to time looking for vinyl. Uh, and you don't just want to look for vinyl when you're in a thrift store. Look for things you can sell. Look, look for things you know. Uh, you know the value on. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eye open. Keep your head on a swivel, as they say. Uh, always be looking for things. I was in the thrift store the other day, and I found a stack of these 8mm Fuji videotapes. Still sealed, brand new. Uh, these were marked at $0.35 cents a piece. Uh, Fuji 8mm 120 minute videotapes uh, and, and I looked on eBay and the, the cheapest these had sold for recently were $1.99 a piece so even if I sell these for $1.99 a piece um, all the music I'm about to show you is free the lunch I got when I was there was free the gas to get there was free so it's it's stupid not to not to look for other things to sell and sort of help fund your hobbies. Just keep that in mind when you're in a thrift store. You know, look look around, look to see for things that uh, are underpriced and definitely have some a good bit of profit margin to them where you can you can sell them and uh, fund your hobby. So let's go ahead and get into this. Got a stack of CDs here first that I picked up. As I said, these are all going to be free after I sell those videotapes. Uh, first one I got here is uh, Japan Droids Celebration Rock. Don't know much about this band. I know they're kind of more of a, a punk kind of band, I think. Thought I'd want to check them out, so I grabbed that. Uh, next thing I have here is New Order's Technique. Uh, 1989 is the date on that one. Uh, and then another one from New Order. This is Waiting for the Siren's Call. Uh, a Radiohead album I wasn't sure if I had or not. I don't think I have picked this one up before. I don't remember hearing it anyway. This is a Radiohead's Amnesiac. 2001 is the date on this one. A Simple Minds compilation here called Glittering Prize, 81 to 92. It's pretty cool. I always love picking up Simple Minds. Uh, another one from New Order here. We got Power, Corruption, and Lies. Uh, that one is from 1983, pretty early one there. Next one I have here is from Wolf Parade, Apologies to Queen Mary. And the last of these CDs are um, from Of Montreal. It's titled Hissing Fauna, Are You the Destroyer? Kind of a very interesting CD package here. Kind of folds open like this. Very, very colorful sort of packaging. So that was pretty cool to find. Uh, and then I picked up three LPs to add to the collection. Uh, first one I have here is The Circle with their album Red Rubber Ball, uh, which is one I do have in the inbox still, but I wasn't sure. This is actually a mono pressing of this. 2i mono on Columbia. Uh, and I wasn't sure if the one I already have is stereo or mono, so for a buck or eventually free when I sell the videotapes, I will grab this and have this uh, around. It's always nice to have duplicates. Uh, next one is a comedy album here on Mercury Records. I just like the look of the cover and the, the sort of the vintage Mercury kind of covers and everything here, but this is An Evening with Mike Nichols and Elaine May. Uh, sort of a, a staged kind of comedy performance kind of thing. Haven't had a chance to spin this yet, but as I said, I just like the aesthetic of the cover and thought I would give it a try. And the last from this first thrift store, definitely an awesome find, definitely a killer find. I wasn't sure about it when I picked it up. It just looked interesting, and it turns out this is uh, pretty highly sought after, uh, sells for a lot of money online. Uh, that is uh, the album the free De or the album Kites Are Fun by The Free Design. Uh, I believe this is their debut on Project 3 uh, from 67. 
uh, very much a, uh, a uh, pop psych kind of 60s band, uh, sort of the East Coast, they've been labeled the East Coast version of the Mamas and the Papas. Um, really neat. Pick that up. So yeah, eventually, as I said, once I sell the videotapes, all that music's going to be free. The uh, Egyptian lunch I got while I was there next to, at the Egyptian grocery store slash restaurant was is going to be free. Uh, so just keep your eyes open when you're in thrift stores and look for things you can sell. It uh, really helps to, to fund the hobby. And uh, sometimes even if you don't find some records, at least you can make some money. So next up, I have a stack of records here to talk about. Mike here in town, uh, also a VC member, clued me in that the local uh, Second and Charles, which is kind of like a uh, a half price books kind of store where they buy and sell um, media of all types, movies, books, records, CDs, DVDs, video games, all that kind of stuff. Uh, that they had put a bunch of new records out in their free bins. They have some free bin free bins out for, out in front of the store for things that they think they can't sell for some reason or another. Or sometimes people will bring in bring in stuff and they'll pick through and choose what they want to sell and whatever's left over, you know, the person can either take back home with them or just dump it in the free bin. Uh, but they had put out hundreds and hundreds of records and they put out some really interesting stuff. Unfortunately, I got there a few hours later, a few hours after Mike, I know he picked up, he said he picked up over a hundred records, which is as awesome. But I managed to find a stack of stuff here, uh, some pretty neat stuff. So let's go ahead and talk about what we got here. Uh, first thing I got here is Larry Gatlin and the Gatlin Brothers Band, Greatest Hits. That was a nice pickup for free. An album from Jimmy Dean, Big Bad John, and other fabulous songs and tales. Also featuring To a Sleeping Beauty. Um, I think I know Big Bad John, but as far as who Jimmy Dean is... Uh, I think this is the sausage guy, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, got Ike and Tina Turner Festival of Live Performances. It's on United. Another copy of Don McLean's Tapestry. Uh, looks like a self-titled here from the band Copperhead. 1973 is the date on this one. Uh, so kind of a 70s hard rock thing, kind of thing, I'm guessing, judging from the looks of the cover and the, the guys in the band there. Next up, we got the Long Riders with Two-Fisted Tails. It's dated 1987, kind of some, some blues rock kind of stuff here. It's pretty cool. Uh, Boz Skaggs, down two, then left. I see this one in the thrift stores all the time. I've never actually taken the time to grab it and listen to it, so... Um, for free, I'll grab it and listen to it. A self, I guess this is self-titled uh, album by Dave Mason of Traffic. Uh, 1974 is the date on this one. Uh, so I recently uh, voted voted a Dave Mason album off the island. It was a later Dave Mason album, hoping some of his earlier stuff is a little bit more my speed. So got, got that. The Jay Giles Band with Monkey Island. Uh, I've never seen this album before. <laughs> you always see the Centerfold album, but I've never seen this before. But Yeah, give it that a try. A, another comedy album from Joan Rivers, What Becomes a Legend Most. I know a lot of people are turned off by Joan Rivers, but I think she's pretty funny. Uh, got the self-titled Emmett Rhodes album. Whenever I find this, I always think I found the Chris Squire album, Fish Out of Water, for some reason, because I'm still looking for that album, and it kind of has a similar cover, but not really. I'm still on the lookout for that one. Uh, Al Stewart, Modern Times. This is another one I hadn't seen before. Uh, see the Year of the Cat and some other other ones, but not this one. So that was a nice pickup. Manfred Mann's Earth Band, The Roaring Silence. Uh, nice copy of that. See this one pretty often, but it's usually pretty pretty well worn, and this one's in pretty nice shape. So.
for free. I can't turn that down. And last but not least, an album from Spirit. This is titled Farther Along. Uh, 76 is the date on this one, so a little bit later. Spirit album. So those are some free and soon to be free music. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I will leave a link down to Mike's channel below and you can see what he picked up. Uh, he got to these much earlier than I did, as I said. Um, hopefully that his video will be up by the time I post this one. Uh, so thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave me some comments. Leave me a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, subscribe if you aren't already to be kept up to date to, for future vinyl videos and other videos that I make. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day, great night, whenever it is, and we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.